Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, it's Malcolm Watson, One for One Gold, coming live to you from uh, Warfield in Berkshire in the UK. I uh, hope you're having a great day or you've had a great day or you're just starting a great day. Um, let me know in the comments if you're watching live. Tell me where you're coming from. If you're watching on replay, please let me know. Uh, and of course, if it's the first time you've tuned into one of my lives, please let me know because I like to welcome people uh, who are new to these lives. So today I'm talking about leadership. Uh, I did a, a live a couple of months ago on leadership, but, but I'm taking a different aspect this time. The question is, are you a leader or a follower? And there's nothing wrong in being a leader and there's nothing wrong in being a follower. Uh, but all of us have qualities in us and we want to find out those qualities and whether we can use them to the advantage of our business and ourselves. And all great leaders, all leaders recognize there's room for improvement. Each and every person has qualities. And I want to go through some of those qualities today and hope they'll resonate with you and help you in your journey and in your business. So the first thing about leadership is uh, you need to inspire. Um, great leaders, good leaders, people who are leaders inspire loyalty. They inspire people by what they say. They inspire people by how they say it. So if you are a risk taker, you are more likely to be creative and more likely to have success in internet marketing, in business in general. Uh, most leaders have that capacity to be creative and also to take risks because uh, the old saying, unless you change, nothing will change. So you need to be that person who actually takes the risk and, and helps people, inspires people, and, and people say, yeah, I want to be like him or her. Yes, I want to follow them. That's what people who inspire do. And the great thing about inspiring is that people actually do follow and they, um, they themselves become better because they follow what you do. All of us have got leaders that we follow. I've got leaders that I follow. People follow me uh, and people will follow you. So we all learn from each other. It's um, an organic system where we all help each other. The next thing is focusing. You really do have to focus on what you're doing and how you're doing it, because that's really important. And the important thing is you need to focus on your team, on the people you're trying to lead, not on yourself. Remember, it's not about you. It's about them. Just in the same way, when you're um, trying to get someone into your business or, or whatever. You look for their need. You look for their why. It's not me saying this is the best thing ever. It's saying, yeah, I used to be like this and I found this helped. So you need to focus on their needs, what they need to improve and so on. Yeah, you just need to forget about yourself and, and help your team. But because the old adage by helping others, you help yourselves is so, so true. The more you help people, the more you will inspire people, the more people will follow you and emulate what you do. And that's what you want to do. And the, the most important thing is they appreciate you because no one likes someone who's all about themselves. You just got to leave your ego behind. Ego is the worst thing ever. So just leave that behind and help other people. And in the same way, you need to respect people. You really need to respect people. Um, you're not a leader if you, if you don't respect other people who may have a different uh, opinion from your own, because that's how you learn. All of us, um, if we are real leaders, we respect other people's point of view. A leader doesn't just put you down. I, I've been with people who've, who've basically told you to shut up. I remember one person who, who was, someone was asking a question. He said, how much do you earn? And the chap said, and he said, well, I earn 10 times that. Just shut up and listen to me. And I understand what he was saying. I've got the experience. But you need to let people share and you need to let people give their point of view because that's really um really really important if you want respect like we said before you need to share you need to honor people and you need to listen to their point of view that's so so important 
Now, it may sound simplistic, but you need to make a commitment to success. Leadership starts by believing in people, the business, and having a vision for success. Say that again. Uh, business leadership starts with believing in people, the business, and having vision for success. Without people, you haven't got a business. Without the business, you won't have success. And without a vision, you won't be able to get there. So all these people, all these things are integrated together. They are so, so important. The vision um, that you communicate is rubbed off and they will then share that with other people. You've heard the thing about you must all be singing from the same hymn sheet. Yeah, you must, because if you're not singing from the same hymn sheet, you've got uh, factions and so on. And that's no good. I'm not saying you all have to be yes people. What I am saying is you all need to have a common belief because that's so, so important. Um, and your success and your vision will breed success amongst other people. And that's so important. The next uh, attribute is to be understanding. That's so, so important. I always try and put myself in the other person's shoes because by then you can understand really where they're coming from, what their needs are, what they want and so on. You need to be understanding if you're going to be a leader make sure the people who are working for you understand what you expect from them. Uh, I was given a tip early on in, in business and people say, people tell me that others watch you and they'll very soon pick out what's important to you and that's what they'll, they'll work on. So make sure your vision is what you want it to be. If you want people to be a certain way, you need to act that way. You need to show them. You need to lead in that way. And it's really important. And remember, if people don't meet your expectations, there's two things. First of all, everybody doesn't have to do it the same way as you. There are different ways of getting to the end result. Yes, you've got to have a common interest and so on, but you can only be yourself. And you need to give people a chance. Some are slower learners than others. And what I found is that sometimes the slow burners are the real ones who get on fire and set the place on fire. So give people chance. The people are all uh, fired up and, and ready to go aren't necessarily the ones who are in there for the long term. But the people who listen, do their due diligence, work it out in their own time and start when they're ready, they're the ones sometimes that will actually be your your main bread and butter, your your leaders, the people who will help and support you. And the other thing is, uh, accept your mistakes. One of the worst things a leader can do is never accept that he or she makes mistakes. We all make mistakes. And the first thing to do is put your hand up and say, yeah, I was wrong. I'm sorry. Let's do this again. Or yes, you're right. I was wrong. Admit your mistakes because people then know that you're real, you're genuine and you're like them. Because if people are going to join your business, they want to know that they can do it. Not that you can do it, but they can do it. And if you've got all the answers and if you never make a mistake, they'll say, I can't do that. But if you're genuine and say, this is how I do it, I'll help and support you until you get your feet on the ground and going. And yes, I've made mistakes and I will continue to make mistakes. Remember, mistakes are the way that we learn. We only learn by making mistakes. I saw a thing today, they were saying, you know, when a child falls over, he might fall over 50 times when he's learning to walk. He doesn't suddenly say, okay, walking's not for me. He, he says, let's do it again. Come on, I'm going to crack this. And that's what we need to do. It's part of life to make mistakes. It's part of being a leader. Admit it, learn from your mistakes and move on. So there we have it. Th those are the things that I, I've said that uh, help you become a better leader. If you wish to have success in a career and your personal life, then enhancing leadership skills by being understanding, by giving an example, by showing a vision, by admitting your mistakes, by showing you're human and by leading 
is the way that people will want to follow you and want to be like you and want to maybe know more about your business. Sooner or later, everyone has the, uh, the opportunity to display their leadership skills. So make sure through personal development, through surrounding yourself with people who stretch you and push you, and by learning, you become that person you want to be a better person a better leader and that's that's all there is to it just be yourself and just learn and follow people everyone has done it everybody learns and everyone becomes better by doing it so i hope these tips have helped you um thank you very much indeed for watching i appreciate each and every one of you i really do because you make me better you help me and hopefully i help you as well if you think this is of use to yourself or your team please save it share it um, with others i'd be so grateful because by sharing we learn that's the only way we get to know uh, about thing personal development so make sure you do this thank you for watching i'm here every wednesday at 12 30 uk time I really appreciate you. Michael, thank you for joining us today. That's great. Uh, good to see you, my friend. Um, thank you, for, as I say, for watching. I hope uh, I'll see you again at the same time next week. If you want to know more about me, what I do, anything I've said today, please leave a comment and I will get to back to you. So this is Malcolm Watson, One for Wrong Gold, signing off until next week. Have the best week and I wish you success in all you do.